Hello, welcome to another SMC Tutorials video. Today, we will be learning how to navigate the Xverse wallet for Bitcoin interactions. Let's dive in. First, go right ahead and download Xverse from your Apple or Google Play Store. And after we have done that, you can go ahead. So, we'll open up Xverse. Now, when you first download the app, you have to first set up a, set up a wallet address. This is, this is a very easy process, as we would see now. So, go right ahead and create a new wallet. Xverse, the Bitcoin wallet for everyone. Mind you, if you already have a pre-existing Bitcoin address that you would like to import into Xverse, you can always click the second option. But since we'll be starting afresh, we'll go with create a new wallet. Then we accept the, the legal terms of service and the privacy policies. Our wallet is being created. We are asked to back up our phrase. Now, for the purpose of this test, we'll be skipping this process, but you should always, as a security measure, back up your seed phrase because if you lose them, you lose access to your account. Now, we have to compulsorily set a security mode, which is a biometrics or PIN mode or password. Metrics is for your face ID, your fingerprint. So we'll be setting a pin. And there we have it. Our wallet had been, has been created. So now we'll go right ahead and explore the Xverse wallet and see the features and capabilities that we have accessed. First and foremost, we can see that we can see Bitcoin. So we automatically get a Bitcoin wallet address that we can use to send and receive bitcoin this first has a buy feature which means you can directly buy bitcoin from here without having to go to an exchange or send bitcoin here so they use moonpay or transact as a third party service you can also show that your transaction history gets displayed if you have conducted transactions on the btc wallet now xverse also offers more than just receiving and sending bitcoin so if you go right ahead and click on manage token list a whole world of bitcoin tokens open up opens up to us we can see the brc20 we can see rooms we're currently on sip10 so we can see bridged usdt wrapped btc main coin vela we have a lot of things to add there's also brc20 side of things we see audio you see sats you see track ordinals, you see all the swap, you see inscription ordinals. So there are a lot of things. And runes only shows up when you actually have a rune token on the wallet. So if you are trying to tap root address, this right here, start ordinals, that is how you, that is where you get it from. Remember, your tap root address always begins with with BC1P as we can see. So that's you that's how you know that a, a bitcoin address is taproot it starts with a b followed by c the number one then the letter p going forward that way you can always copy the address and use it where we like now leaving this we'll be moving on to the collectibles section you can always enable it what this section does does it gives us a visual representation of the actual collectibles you have in our wallet what does that mean nfts to the bitcoin ecosystem so we have ordinals we have inscription we have rooms so you can visually see them you don't just see their name when you come to this section and you have any of this you can visually see what they look like that's what collectible means you can also just receive your collectibles directly from me instead of having to going to search for your ordinals address you just come here copy your your brc20 address or your sat address and then you you paste it where you, where you want to receive it and you get your collectible in return now moving on the next section will be explore will be staking now xverse prov provides a room for you to grow your income so you stick stats nakamoto which is xts you stick stats and you earn btc as, as a reward now this would the apy and the amount will always vary based on the time 
you install the app always look out for that next move to the browser section every dap which is a digitalized application always comes to the browser gives you the opportunity to interact with the web 2 world on web 2 with web 3 platforms so you can see unisat you can see okx you can see vela you can see ninja alerts you can see a whole sort of websites and the big benefit of this is since this by default this came with the app you are always certain that you are visiting the right place you can see magic magic eden so you are not afraid of of clicking on efficient sites because they come with the app they are always they, are, they have the correct link so if you ever go to interact with the platform that requires you to come connect your wallet you can always just come to the browser here if it's a bitcoin related ecosystem come to the browser paste in the link doing the interaction here connect with the wallet and achieve the purpose with which what you wanted to do now finally we're looking at the settings app and there's a very unique feature that xverse offers which if we if we look down here we can see it, it says recover assets recover assets now what this does is that if you accidentally received ordinals with the bitcoin address or you accidentally received runes with the bitcoin address this feature can help you recover that ordinal or recover that truth now this is a very good option because anything can happen and anybody can mistakenly send what they shouldn't send to any address this feature here helps people get their ordinals back get their rooms back so you just select it it scans your bitcoin address that you are currently on this account you see it says you have no ordinals on your bits bitcoin payment address but if bitcoin was if ordinals or runes was accidentally sent here this feature helps you get it back all other things include you selecting the search engine you want in you want your default search engine when you open the browser google bing doc doc go or yahoo you can always update your pin you can always display ordinals or not and then all other basic stuff if you have any questions let us know in the comment section and a member of the team will be available to answer your question. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to always stay up to date when we push out more crypto and web3 content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.